today. This is something uh, that should be a positive uh, story, and we hope that uh, gets at least some of the some of the negative stuff that's been uh, put out there over the last couple of weeks. Uh, today we're here to talk about our 2009 end of year crime statistics. Uh, in just a moment, I'm going to bring up uh, Chief Roger Monroe of uh, CNPD. Behind uh, me is uh, his command staff, 13 Patrol Division uh, commanders. Uh, we'd be remiss, though, if we didn't admit that uh, we can't do this uh, kind of work alone, uh, that this crime reduction wouldn't have been possible without the community, uh, some of these community organizations. I see uh, Marcus uh, Philman and his wife from Fort Watch. Thank you uh, for, uh, for joining us this afternoon. Uh, Julie, Julie Isley, uh, they were so safe for Charlotte. Uh, again, uh, we, we would be able to have this historic uh, crime job had it not been for, uh, for the community. Uh, Chief Monroe is going to give you a snapshot of 2009. Uh, we're welcome to ask questions uh, following his, uh, his remarks. And uh, we also have um, unit supervisors from each uh, unit. Uh, in the event that you have any specific questions, robbery, homicide, rape, uh, and uh, those sort of things. Uh, without further ado, Chief Rodney Monroe. Thank you, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's indeed a pleasure to be before you this afternoon to talk about uh, what I believe is the, the true fabric of this department. Uh, what really uh, makes up this organization, uh, the men and women uh, represented here today, and who they represent themselves uh, is who we are here to acknowledge and to make sure that we uh, pay tribute to as it relates to uh, 2009 crime reduction. In 2009, Charlotte's crime rate per 100,000 population declined to the lowest level in over 30 years. Overall, reported crime in Charlotte declined by 19%, by with violent crime down 21% and property crime down 18%. That equates to over 10,000 less victims in Charlotte, Mecklenburg. Homicides declined to their lowest level in over 21 years. 56 homicides occurred in 2009, the lowest number since 1988. There were double digit decreases in every crime category except rape. <coughs> Homicides declined 33%. Robberies declined 24, 21%. Aggravated assault declined 22%. Burglaries declined 19%. Larceny declined 15%, including a 22% reduction in larceny's models. Vehicle theft declined 37%. Arsons declined 25%. The only category, as I mentioned, that increase was rape. It increased by 12%. The greatest number of those cases involved victims and suspects who had, had some type of relationship. In 2009, we reaped the benefits of an organizational change that was implemented in September of 2008. Those changes focused on reducing crime at the neighborhood level, increasing police visibility in all of our neighborhoods, and allowing patrol divisions the flexibility to use their resources and increase their accountability for the results at all levels within their organizations. In 2008, we experienced an 8 percent reduction in crime. And most of those reductions occurred in the last six months of 2008. The response area commanders monitor the crime trends in their assigned area and develop the strategies and resources deployment and make plans to address crime and disorder. Each patrol response area also has a focus mission team that can be deployed at a moment's notice throughout the division to address critical needs such as chronic crime problems when and where they arise. We were able to increase visibility throughout the city by initially taking over 90 positions from various units and redistributing them amongst the patrol division and closing our vacancy rate to zero. 
During 2009, you also reevaluated the uses of our fleet. We converted a number of unmarked vehicles to marked vehicles. We also began assigning some of those marked vehicles to officers who reside within our community. We constantly evaluate the status of crime reduction and what our goals are. We can determine what works, what emerging trends we need to address. We meet every Monday morning for several hours to evaluate our crime reduction efforts for the past week. We've adopted a calm step philosophy with each patrol division providing an in-depth look at its crime and its trends and how we will go about reducing crime every 28 days. This approach has increased accountability and gives officers in each response area a sense of ownership in the problems it's faced and its residents' concerns. In 2009, all 13 patrol divisions experienced a decrease in crime. I would like to take a moment to individually acknowledge these patrol division commanders and their decreases. Captain Jeff Estes, Central Division, 7% reduction in crime. Captain Lisa Geltz, Independence Division, 10% reduction in crime. Captain Johnny Jennings, North Tryon Division, 13% reduction. Captain Kurt Voorhees, Freedom Division, 14% reduction. Captain Greg Collins, North Division, 15% reduction. Captain Bruce Bellamy, Metro Division, 16% reduction. Captain Martha Dozer, Provident Division, 17% reduction. Captain Frieda Lester, University Division, 19% reduction. A combination of Captain Glenn Nehemiah and Jeff Pless, Hickory Grove Division, 20% reduction. <clears throat> Captain Rod Golding, South Division, 23% reduction. Captain Stella Patterson, Westover Division, 24% reduction. Captain Demetra Faulkner Welch, Eastway Division, 25% reduction. Captain Alan Rutledge, Steel Creek Division, 26% reduction in crime. Much of our work in crime reduction is focused on getting the repeat offenders off of the streets. We work closely with our communities to determine who are the worst of the worst in each area and who is creating the most fear amongst our community. In 2009, we arrested more than 38 an additional 38% of our habitual felons. We went from 280-some habitual felons arrested in 2008 to well over 400 habitual felons arrested in 2009. Those suspects are dealt with by our priority offender strategy team, which prioritizes the offenders and works closely with our district attorney, U.S. attorney, probation, parole, and other federal partners to ensure that these cases are successfully prosecuted. Electronic monitoring is also a part of our strategy to manage our priority offenders. We currently are monitoring over 265 offenders that have been released back into our community. I mentioned earlier that homicides have reached its lowest level in 21 years. We have taken a new approach in investigating homicides. When a homicide occurs, homicide detectives are not the only ones that respond. Detectives from our ADW unit, vice, narcotics, gangs, firearms, and even some of our federal partners, in addition to our patrol divisions, respond. This helps us to gain a better understanding of the underlying causes of that homicide. And it helps us to establish the relationships involved in each of these cases. We believe the creation of the ADW unit helped us to reduce the homicide rate by getting some of these offenders off of the street before their level of violence escalated. 